Hello programmers, so in this video we would be talking about double-ended queue in Java. So basically what is DQ? Okay. So this DQ is present in your java.util package and is a subtype of queue interface. So basically what is the difference between this queue and this DQ? Okay. Or basically we can also call it as DEC. It is pronounced as DEC. So the deck is related to double-ended queue that supports addition and a removal of elements from either of the data structure. That means insertions and deletions are not restricted to just one end as was in the case of queue. But now insertions and deletions can occur from both the ends. Okay, so now this deck helps us to arrange our data in the form of stack as well as queue that is first in first out and last in first out form so as you all can see here there's alterable interface collection interface extends that interface queue is also an interface here and deck is also an interface okay but this deck has two implementation first implementation is of the linked list class and second implementation is of your array list class okay so as i told you that this is not restricted to just one end okay we can insert add element here also as well as we can uh, remove elements from the starting position as well as we can remove elements from the ending position we are not just restricted to one end that is uh, deletions from the front and insertions from the rear that was in the case of cow okay so implementation of dq is provided by the two classes that is array dq and linked list class okay so now basically what is the basic difference between this array deck class as well as the linked list class so there is not a much of a big difference between these classes the whole Im implementation lies within their internal implementations okay in array deck there would be an array okay this array would be a resizable array we would be talking about this uh, in the next coming slides as well as in the linked list there would be a concept of a doubly linked list that is it would be consisting of two parts three parts mainly that is the data part and the node of next part and the node of previous part okay so it would be like this if we see it would be like in this format okay so in this way your linked list implementation would work out so now talking of some operations using the deck interface so the first operation is of our add operation so in order to add an element in a deck we can use the add method and where does this add method came this came from this from the collection interface as well as this deck in, implements this queue also okay so the difference between a queue and a deck is that addition is possible from any direction as i stated earlier therefore there are two other methods okay so additional methods we have to implement in this so the first method of this class is the add first and the second is the add last okay so these methods help first to add the elements at the either ends okay so now next is your removing so in order to remove we also have two methods as uh, provided our by our deck interface class uh, deck interface sorry uh, so the first one would be our remove first and the second one would be our uh, remove last okay apart from that this interface also provides us with the methods such as poll pop poll first and poll last where pop is used to remove and return the head of the deck however poll is used because it offers the same functionality as pop but doesn't return an exception when the deck is empty so I will tell you what are the methods that return an exception whereas the method that doesn't throw an exception. So all these methods such as add first, add last are provided to you and the deck interface. So now we would be talking about this array deck class because it provides an implementation uh, to this deck interface. Okay. So what is this array deck class? So array deck class is 
implemented in your java.collection framework and this is a resizable array a point that needs to be remembered okay this is a special kind of array because it grows and allows users to add or remove elements from both sides of the queue okay array deck have no capacity restrictions as they grow as necessary to support users okay uh, so there is no uh, capacity bound limitations of uh, your array deck these are not thread safe which means that in the absence of external synchronization array deck does not support concurrent access by multiple threads as well as array deck class is faster than stack when used as a stack so why so that we are saying array deck class is faster than stack okay uh, if you remember guys um, your stack class implements vector class okay so and vector there is a mechanism of thread synchronization as well as thread so your vector class is thread safe whereas uh, and stack class also uh, is a part of your vector class so this also has a functionality of synchronization so if we want to have a properties of stack instead of using stack we can use array deck class okay why because this class would provide us with the various methods more faster as compared to stack okay now as i told you before these are some methods that would throw you an exception that is insertion at head if we do add first it would throw an exception if uh, that method fails whereas offer first would return null if uh, return false if uh, this method somehow failed okay uh, removal from head that is remove first it would throw an exception whereas poll remove and poll have the same functionality but poll would return null if the list contains empty and a remove first would throw an exception similarly for get peak add last means offer last remove last means poll last get last means peak getting means it does not remove an element it only shows the element at the top best uh, top position whereas uh, removal or poll means to uh, remove that element from your particular array deck okay guys so now we would be doing our implementation of this deck interface using this array deck class so let's get into the coding part okay guys so here we are in the class i made a class that is array deck programs okay so here now i would be doing deck see deck is an interface i would be making this deck of strings uh, deck is equal to new now see there are options of array deck as well as linked list deck okay but now for now we would be doing for array deck okay so we have studied various methods so it is the time to apply those so deck dot add add method would add okay um, these were three um, names that i added so if i do system out println and then deck so now what would it provide me it would provide me an order of a Ram, Sham and Karan. Oh sorry, not in the double braces, it would be simple. Okay, now we would be seeing some methods such as deck dot add first, add first. Now I would be adding this name to the first and let's print this deck see guys aman is placed before ram okay and if i do again 
deck dot add first so now raman would be placed before raman and raman would be at a second position see so in this way your deck class works so now if you do deck dot uh, remove remove okay so now what do you think it do it should do it should remove the last element from our list uh, first element from our list i mean to say that is uh, it removed a raman okay because it is following the principle of queue insertions from the rear and deletions from the front but now we want to remove from last deck dot remove last so now it would be removing karan see mm, yeah okay okay guys now if you do again deck dot uh, remove last it would now be removing sham and two names would be left with us okay so in this way your program of this deck insertions and deletions occur uh, and if you want to print this deck without these braces see here we are getting these elements with these braces okay so you can make use of iterator as well as enhanced for loop see for string i in deck sys out i shift f10 see without these quotes or you can also make use of iterator okay guys and now coming back to your uh, implementation if you want that as in the prior videos we did some implementations of our own type see uh, we did some implementations for uh, linked list created our own linked list class so if you want to have a linked list implementation of deck so how would you do that see guys you need to make a class node class for that purpose why uh, let us understand this okay you need to make a class node of that and and in here you would be having two fields that is node previous and next okay so basically these would be pointing to null and when this node constructor would be called there would be a type this can be a generic type also you can type uh, parameters here also but if you want for a integer type i am taking so i am doing int data so when this node constructor would be called so what should it print it should be printing uh, it should be printing see this dot data would be data and this next part would be null and this dot previous should be also null for that time for each node okay guys so this was the overview of the that class and now you have to provide some methods such as add to head uh, remove from head uh, as well as uh, remove from tail okay so if you want me to explain these methods to you you can comment down below we would be creating a separate video for this also so till then i hope you understood this concept so give this video a like and thanks for watching